Okay, so now this last question here that I have chosen, um, or this last types of questions here, these deal with surface area. So this comes from section um, twelve point two, starting here where I've drawn this line. So, or excuse me, right here where I have this line here. So these two problems here from section twelve point two, and they deal with surface area of the cone. Find the surface area of each cone with the given dimensions. Round your answer to two decimal places. And so once again, if you have not run off your formula sheet, that I updated formula sheet that I gave you, then you need to do this. But I give you the formula for finding the surface area of a cone right here. Here's a cone, SA is surface area, and it says equals capital B plus one half times C times, it looks like L. What does that mean? Well, capital B, when you see that in a, a formula, means the area of the base plus one half times circumference is C times that little L is the slant height, okay? That would be what they have labeled here is S, okay? That's our slant height, okay? That's the side coming down here on the, from here to here on the edge of the cone, okay? So now, if I take that formula, and I'm going to write that first for this problem since I'm going to be finding the surface area of this cone, the problem. So this, sir, the, this cone has a radius of 4 inches and my slant height they give me from here to here is 9 inches. And so I'm going to write that surface area formula from my formula sheet. And again, the big capital B stands for area of the base. Well, the base of a cone is a circle and area of a circle is pi times radius squared plus one half times C is the circumference of this circle. And so circumference is two times pi times the radius. We'll use that for the C because we're given the radius here, times the slant height, which is simply L, okay? And so I'm gonna do 3.1416 times the radius of this cone is four inches, so four squared, plus one half, now, honestly, you see this two and this two here reduce, so you could just say pi times radius times the slant height. That's okay as well, but I'm gonna go ahead with what I have here. One half times two times 3.1416 times the radius is four times the slant height, that's nine. Okay, so if I type 3.1416 times four squared into my calculator, then I get I get 50.2656 plus if I do one half or 0.5 times two times 3.1416 times four times nine, then I get 113.0976. And if I add those two together, the surface area of that cone would be 163.36 square inches. Now this next question, so this cone, this, this cone here, the surface area is 163.36 square inches rounded to two decimal places. So the next question from 12.2 that I chose still deals with the cone, but it's a little different. It says the surface area of the cone is 174 pi square feet. Notice that they didn't use 3.1416, they just left it in terms of pi is what we call that. And it says, find the slant height of the cone. So we're asked to find from here down to here, the slant height, okay? That's what we're finding here. So again, I'm going to go to that formula sheet. And if you don't know your formula, then write it down. You can use this on test. And so I know that the surface area, according to what they gave me here in the problem, is 174 pi. So I'm going to plug 174 pi back in here for my surface area. So I have 174 pi equals, now remember capital B 
means area of the base, and the area of the base would be the area of this circle. Well, the area of a circle is pi times radius squared. Our radius is 6. Now, I'm not going to use 3.1416 this time because since they gave this to me in terms of pi, I'm just going to leave the pi symbol for now as my pi instead of substituting an actual decimal amount in for it. So I have pi times radius squared, so that'd be 6 squared, plus 1 half times the circumference, which is pi times... Uh, 2 times pi times the radius, or pi times diameter, we'll do 2 times pi times the radius, which is 6, times the slant height. So I'm just going to keep that L because I don't know it. All right, so I'm going to bring down 174 pi on this side. 6 squared is 36, so this is 36 pi. Plus, I know this 2 and this 2 reduce, so this is just 6 pi times the slant height, or 6 pi L, we'll say. Now solve this for L. This is just a normal linear equation to solve. Start by subtracting 36 pi from both sides. And so once I subtract 174 minus 36 pi, I get 138 pi equals 6 pi times the slant height. Then I divide both sides by 6 pi. And so my slant height would be 23 feet for that column. Okay, I hope you found these videos helpful. Um, if you have more questions about Chapter 12 and WebAssign, please use the Ask My Instructor or Contact My Instructor uh, button or send me an email via Canvas, and I will be glad to create you an Educreations presentation and help you mold them.